the most reliable lineup to kill this void. Like, you have to smoke with a clock, and you still need... Like, I think that the stun duration on clock doesn't set up for Dawn Zoti that well, right? Uh... No. So, yeah, it's not. not... Yeah, like, you can easily time walk away. So, if you don't have that, you need, like, a smoke where the clock hook shots in, but the techies has to be ready to blast off, or else, like... How do you really kill him? It is a bit awkward. Lina is not the hero that wants to be smoke ganking early, and they will break the smoke here. Good war, though. AJ, he's trying to bait them in. Nice two man and pill, but sidestep from Tiger. Continues forward to look for KJ. Analog also dropping very low. He's actually fighting a different battle and losing that battle. Gonna get taken down. Two kills secured here for infinity. And they're looking for a possible harass on more. Actually, Devai Lama walks back underneath tower. LSA comes oh. out. He thought he could walk back towards his base, but that is a lie. It's all infinity in the beginning of the game. That is the power of clockwork being a nuisance. Who's actually going to see him? All right. Okay. Gets back to full HP. And now K1. Could even be in some danger here. Can't That's contest the bounty. Infinity will get at least two. So I think it's going to be a 2-2 two -two at the end of the day. But still, very good start here for Infinity. A thousand gold advantage, minute zero. I'm actually baffled that he suicided there on the clockwork. He had like 60% of his HP still. Just one tango, walk mm. to lane, and you'd have it. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, no. he does get a lot of the gold, right? Because the thing is, he... oh, Jim Park being... Body block here by Schofield, just trying to delay. And He's gonna miss a full wave, first right? Wave. Did they can he can they cancel his TP for some reason? He doesn't have a TP on Jim Park. Oh yeah. I got to see that. I missed that as well. But yeah, that's not fantastic. Just, all right. Okay, there's gonna be the harass onto Taifai Lama. He went for Crypt Swarm level one. He doesn't have any of the healing required to just stay alive. Mm -hmm. Also, Nick's assassin is terrible against clockwork. The constant yeah, uh, yes. impill interrupt with the battery assault. I wonder if that's a game where you get two points in carapace. It, it, it is kind of bad though, but uh, at least you get that enough time oh, to run away. Oh there no! There he is, caught, and that should be. Oh, he actually does manage to get out. Probably gonna have to walk all the way back to base. Does have good region, twelve of the tango. So, because the lane is pushed, he might. Oh, oh, close. Yeah, that lane is going to be pretty problematic for the radiant side. Luckily enough, the creep camp was blocked, but it's going to get removed right now. Bottom side, it's underneath the tower. K1 and KJ together. Uh, should be just even Stevens. And in mid, of course, it is a Lina versus a DK. DK tends to have some troubles in the first couple of levels until he gets two points in Dragon's Blood. And normally that, that stage doesn't really care too much anymore. Uh -huh. He just got to that point. So should be should be having a good time. Uh, or at least, you know, as good as he gets when you're playing against Lina. Bottom. Surprised that K1 has the highest CS. We kind of talked about this lane being the hardest. And, you know, Faceless Void. Not the best last hitter. You don't have a way to secure range creeps. Jaro also doesn't have it. And I feel like it's quite impressive to be 14 and 2 uh, in this lane. I think the big plus as well is that Jaro Gopti does so much damage with Rocket Barrage. Doesn't even have the whole missile level because he might need to get flak cannon in case he sees a kill possibility mm -hmm. it is definitely more damage overall the Vailama is struggling though in this lane eight and zero against the 12 and three draw ranger pretty weak laner to be honest but uh so i guess this clockwork does enable her quite a bit I do like Drow. So we, if you can't get on top of Drow, it's one of the strongest heroes you will ever face. Uh, yep. Marksmanship is insanely potent. 
This is a great shard game for the void, right? Just having that yeah. extra cost range on time walk. We're also gonna need to get a blink dagger on DK. Might even consider one on the next assassin. I actually have a question for you. Oh, okay. Jim Park in trouble now. There he's stuck underneath the tower, and they just dive him down quickly with the rocket barrage and hoping this to come through. In response, it's Demon with the blast off. Onto the Lama they go, and they're looking to kill off that DP who does have a healing lotus, but that should definitely not keep him alive. And indeed, Tiger just taps him on the behind to take him down. Great rotations coming through, so in the end, it was a two for one trade, and Drow actually came out ahead in gold. All right. Not too shabby. We'll come back to the lane. Just going for a standard threat. He now has the raindrop, so he's harder to be killed. This is really well done by KJ. Can Demon get the suicide on Roche? Yes, he can! Be you. Alright. That was pretty good. But what was the question you're gonna ask again? Uh, yes. So, we have a Dawn versus a Nyx Assassin. How many... Yes. Cancels of the Solar Guardian will we see this game? Mm. Well, it is Oscar playing the Solar Guardian, so a very seasoned, experienced player. Uh, we might... So, hmm. I feel like it really depends on whether Infinity is going to be winning or not. I feel like if they're being pressured to cast the Solar Guardian on the Chronospheres, there's going to be a lot of cancels. If they're playing from ahead, though... Then he's not going to use it unless he's sure where the Nyx is. So, hmm. I'm gonna say three, honestly. It does feel like Infinity has pretty decent grasp at this game right now. I don't think they're gonna feel pressured into... And there's not even that much damage in the Chrono to begin with. You might not necessarily have to use Solar Guardian for the Chrono save as more of an aggressive play. A Tiger? Should be fine. K1 takes a lot of damage. They know he doesn't have time mark, but did have a pretty heavy magic wand, so it is just fine. But yeah, he's having. Did a you change good time. something about magic wand in the patch, right? What was it? Again? Uh, the cool the, the use timer has been increased. Oh, uh, okay. Went, went from yeah, the magic wand is two seconds longer. Magic stick is I think four. Right. Oh, Demon right. and PP both getting hit by the impel. The big attention is towards PP who just picked up that amplified damage. I that I said the correct one, otherwise, uh, Daddy Bowie would uh, tap me and say, Bad DK. Wrong yeah. rune. Wrong rune, you gotta know the names, alright? We're casters. That's, uh, that's what the Twitch viewers want to know. It's not about the inside, it's about saying the right words as the Vai Lama, the word is scream. And he will be able to survive the aggression of Jim Park. And for the runes though, can this clockwork steal it? I uh, doubt it. Scofield is waiting and the Vai Lama might... Ooh. Oh, he might actually. He blocks them both out. Uh, TP, TP comes in, and Tiger's gonna grab it, and ha <laughs> ha, they get the double with I'm, I'm mildly impressed. No, I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah, that's two clock. wisdoms here. This is huge for the supports on side of Infinity. Clock relies a lot on his level 6. Techies, not as much. Uh, techies as but well. He, like, he can blow I think Nick's Assassin. Yeah, Nick's Assassin, Assassin is, is terrible biggest. without. Actually, no, Clockwork, I think, is the worst. Because Clockwork is kind of. Without Hookshot, at one point, you just do nothing. True. But it's honestly pretty bad for Schofield, so. Just oh, delaying the Vanetta is. Has a lot of healing. And the low two is not a. Uh, uh, the big problem as well is that, like, well, his part is not that bad. Cancel. Oh, there you go. Cancelled uh, down OT. Okay, that's number one. That's pretty early. But uh, number one secured. PP taken down again. That's problematic for the Lina. Uh, what I was about to say was that, of course, Devar Lama is playing the TP. And DP is notorious for being a terrible farmer if the lane goes bad. Yeah, which is one of the reasons I am kind of a DP hater. I, I'm i yet to be really impressed with this hero. Like, I feel like for every Chrono. one game, DP looks great. 
And uh, run. Dyer's middle tower. Yeah, PP would in, so he had to dip out of there ASAP. Unfortunate Chrono for K1. Uh, they are chasing Tiger here. Or... Park, Gym Park, nice actually. Nice 2-9 Gus, Schofield has the Impale. And in response, Demon comes here. There's the uh, nice character oh, coming wow. out. Two-man stun by Schofield. The miniature Ravage Tiger is trying to man fight them. Holds them in place, knowing that, of course, nothing can be done in that position. There is no Don ulti for 50 seconds, and even if he had it, Spike Carapus is a scary. Dude, Schofield is so good. He had the stun for that entire chase, and he's like, nah, I'm not gonna use it. When Infinity thinks they can turn it around, he gets the Spike Carapus off, he he gets the stun on top of it, they find two kills. Sure, Parker will die, but kind of crazy how he was able to do that much, and, you know, that's a Nyx that was level 4, actually gets a full level out of that engagement. Not too shabby, might still get his 6 at a, you know, 10 minutes, a 30 or something. Pretty decent if you lose both Wisdoms. Yeah, definitely not too shabby and uh, also got his first piece already for Dagon Gaming. Jim Park though. Top side, KJ going in, but he is going to drop dead. Nice rotations coming out. They didn't even use the Solar Guardian for that one. Now they're going to drop it. Analog, is he going to be able to get away? There is no mana on the Dawn. Analog tickling down. Last right click from PP is going to get the job done. They find three kills. Top side, Infinity. And that is definitely a very worthwhile rotation. Yeah, they overcommit on the draw. The DK ends up out of position. And they... Do you find that kill with Mr. PP? Schofield, though, just using that time to get his level 6. Very important. Should have it after this wave. So now that does allow Heroic to go for some deeper rotation since there's a couple of centers here in Infinity, but mostly one in the big jungle and one close to uh, those camps on the top side. They're not necessarily going to scout Nyx getting there. They still might be able to find an angle as Navailam is dead. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a recurring segment right now. <laughs> Five deaths so far on the DP. Granted, his lane was already sacrificed from the very beginning with the draft. Drow, he, he, Lina beats his ass, and Drow beats his ass. So no matter which uh, hero they put in that safe lane, it would have been problematic. Schofield, he's got his level 6 together with KJ. They're looking for Parker. But the smoke gets broken, so Tiger knows what's coming. But does Jim Park know that Schofield is still lurking about? Okay. I mean, that sentry does. That's a really good sentry for Infinity. It, it covers such a big area. A daytime like this, it's really hard to to invade. So, Schofield, though, he, he, he's kind of aware that like there could be a sentry exactly there. And he's just respecting the angle so beautifully. He's not going to be able to solo kill the Gym Park Drow alone, though. We need at least someone else here. Uh, if he manages to stand in front of a multi-shot, maybe. But yeah, Schofield's just going to walk away. Park walks back towards the tower. And there, Vendetta has ended 20 seconds until he has a new one available. Actually, kind of need to try and bait out Spike Carapus so that Don can all be. That it requires a lot of communication there. Now, the big thing I feel for Heroic is that even though this Void was supposed to be against a hard lane, even though this Void, uh, like sometimes takes a while to get online, they created so much space. Like all of those deaths that Heroic had were top. K1 was never bothered. Like all of the aggression was funneled to the top lane. Of aggression here. So through this, looking for someone, but uh, the sentry will get vision, but not fast enough. Chrono on to Oscar as well in the bottom lane, but Oscar will be just fine. Chrono was used, they did lose Tiger in towards mid. Mm -hmm. Not too much was lost. Dragon King Knight, by the way, went for the Mage Slayer. Still, the DKs tend to build that on pretty much all of the DKs. Even the Dawn is going for it this game. Yeah, I like it on her. I feel like you do have a lot of magic damage on Heroic and you do have a way to apply it to multiple targets. It's, it's a decent item, to be fair, as they are also pressuring top here. Exo's still ready. 
Yeah, but Jim Park, I love this item build. He is going for Dragonlance into Aghanim Scepter. It is so strong to get the Aghanim Scepter that early on in the game. Javai Lama. Lama gets taken down. It's also really good against both DK and the uh, Death Prophet because of the healing reduction that it adds in with the Frost Arrows. Oh, AJ gets found. The mines, the mines! Infinity's playing really well together, even though I've seen some pretty nice rotations and moves from Heroic. They have been pretty much shut down most, if not all the time, by Infinity. Yeah, that Death Prophet pick, I think, will punish heavily. Six deaths on the Vailama. It's like, <laughs> the Vailama is 80% of the deaths on Heroic right now. Which is unfortunate, but it does mean that K1 is farming and he is uh, the counter to the Draw Ranger, right? Uh, might be a weaker hero than he used to be. Oh, once again, I mean, th that's oh, the thing uh, as well. Schofield finds PP, but there's no one to really do anything about it. Like, he's just sapping experience, I guess. He actually gets the Dagon recipe instead of the Voodoo Mask first. Huh. I guess he's so deep that he doesn't feel like he can send the courier. But. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> the, the spell life still when I hear this barely like even using spells, you know, I guess it doesn't matter that much. I mean, it matters more than nothing. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. And it looks like I'm gonna smoke here in K1. He's been unbothered, but this might be the first time. Nice dodge and weave. Schofield's nearby as well on the side looking for a start of the fight. Even Parker TPs towards bottom. Interestingly enough, the nerfs here force Void to go for a different build, right? In the past, it was always one point time dilation, just max stats. He has three points. That's pretty much unheard of uh, for, le for the other patches. What oh, was it? Slow your cooldown, increased. Okay. Yeah. Um, In the, yeah, like you can see all the changes. They, they made the cooldown progressions lower, then they increased the mana cost. Yes, but the slow gets way worse, so. If you force you to get it. Oh, Devai Lama, Laguna Blade at top, trying to heal himself up. But that's not gonna happen. The PP gets the kill. And Devai did use his exorcism to get a grand total of zero damage on the tower. <laughs> He's level nine, so he is the same level as Demon right now. Demon, in fact, has more experience than him. And it's also the big problem that you're going to face later down the line. Disgusting techies placing mines all over the pla place, making sure that you can't, as a Nyx assassin, sneak in the enemy's base. Because, uh, good look. They're going to be, yeah, this Nyx assassin just can't vendetta run around at one point because there are mines everywhere. It's really weird. Like, yeah, he gets intel, but I wonder what the point of it is. Like, it's just a ward. He's getting his experience, right? And I wonder... I don't think Jim Park is calculating the experience he's supposed to get from those creeps. So he just got a level Oh, he there. will die, though. Jim Park will get caught out. Schofield yeah. gets the kill. And that is going to be his Dagon done. Now he has solo kill potential once it gets delivered. Yeah. Oh, the BM nice. tips as well by KJ. That's, uh, that's a bit early, dudes. <laughs> well, yeah. It's... Uh, you know how it works with SA players. You either make them play 100% better, or you tilt the hell out of them. There's no in-between. Day 1 gets a tower, and is finishing his Manta. Yeah, that is always nice to have against the silence from Gust. Wait, Gust does... Oh, no. Gives move speed to draw now. He... Ah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that's another one of the many buffs this hero kind of got, but he never fell to like was enough for people to start picking it. I guess Void, Mr. K1. Yeah, Clockwork is pretty good in the wombo combo himself. Shot plus power cogs is a very lengthy thunderation. He's going for his own Aghanim Scepter. KJ. KJ is gonna get spotted out by Oscar, and we'll at least grab the bounty before he falls. But falling, indeed, that's what he's gonna do. Jim Park still not done with the Ags. Has slowed down significantly in his farming because of the threat of that Nyx Assassin lurking about. Yeah, still uh, doing a bit worse than that there, but not by much. Just Cofield. Oh, he gets the silence, though. 
That is really well done by Parker, and uh, Schofield will get taken down. Nice sentry placement. Yeah, nice. Uh, uh, so the sentries on Infinity have been on point. Like, that's the third or fourth sentry that is very well hidden. Just allows PP2, uh, Jim Park, to play really well against the Knicks. Uh, and does Lina going for right click, as you said? You know, just works really well when you have a draw in your team. Yeah, double right click. It's pretty scary. I was thinking maybe they go for magic damage so that you can blow up the faceless void very quickly, but with just two wild right clickers in the fight, uh, even if you chrono the Lena or the Drow, yeah. the other one will be able to bump out enough damage to make up for the uh, the chrono. That really is the big thing. Like especially if they play far away from each other in the fights, it, it might be just impossible to get the chrono you need. And then how do you play around these two? big right clickers uh, it might be tough here uh now oscar. eggs as you said done on the draw oscar almost has his bkb i'm wondering if he's gonna do the preemptive bkb solar guardian mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's possible this void is big he will start to become a problem you know it feels like he's six in net worth but that's because everyone else is very tied in network like everyone farming pretty oh, much the same amount goodbye llama on ulti on top and there's going to be another kill on to the Death Prophet. Indeed, death in the name. <laughs> Dying is his game. You don't have to be a prophet to predict the deaths. That is very true, DK. Very funny. As uh, K1 did finish his Manta, going for that BKB. Uh, I mean, this game is super passive, but definitely benefits Infinity. Uh, Gaben doesn't give that much of a gap here. Only 11% gap. I oh, love Faces Void and DK, so it's not too surprising. He sees the drones mm -hmm. like, Time for, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Tormentor, maybe? They do TP the Vailama nearby here, but looks like, uh, no. Heroic will chill for now. I'll definitely go for Jim Park Silver Age this game. Hmm. At least Shadow Blade, because it's obnoxious to deal with the enemies and being sneaky is pretty good. But I think having the break against DK and against Face Void will be very handy. What's the better shard here for Heroic? Well, it's going to be Skull Foods. Um, uh... I would say KJ's. Because, like. Nyx Assassin, okay, we queued it up. It's really good on Nyx Assassin as well, the magic resist the reduction. But I think the Gyrocopter, there's no way you can play support Gyrocopter without the shard. Yeah, that is definitely true. I think, I think the Nyx is happy. Like they're, they're both good, but I, well, I would uh, agree. That's slightly better on the Gyros. Now they're gonna go for Roche play here, Diddy. Uh No vision, no awareness from Heroic that this is happening. Even OT Roshan. Oh, that's gonna be a quick one. Yeah, Laguna just to get max fiery souls or 10 sacks of fiery soul. So it goes a little bit faster. Jim Park gets the uh, Aegis. They probably should get the Torment to themselves soon enough because they have very good shards as well. The Clock with Jetpack, obviously. But the Techies, I think that one is even better. A uh, reactive taser that you can throw on someone inside the Chrono. Oscar is level 14. He's definitely getting a lot of farm here. Radiant Oscar. Yeah. It helps if you don't get completely murdered. It's eight times. So, yep. Three, zero, and nine. So, time for the smoke here in Infinity. Obviously, the Dawn's not going to be involved. Just waiting for that uh, BKB Solar Guardian. We'll see if he's going to do it. Glacier. Let's see. While standing on the hill, attackers gain bonus attack range and high ground advantage. They cannot miss. Oh, that's impress interesting. And gain flying it's really vision. good. Yeah, you get flying vision. You never lose your passive. You gain more, more arrows. arrows per wave. You get attack range. Uh, and you vision. can you can go in and out of the shard, but whoever jumps there can't. So you also have pre-pathing on the shard it's it has to be one of the best shards in the game like the amount of things that it gives you it's it's crazy 
And you like share it with Lena? <laughs> Allies? I don't think you can. Like you, she can jump on top of it, but I don't think she has a free path. Oh no! It, it, I think the free path thing. It's at least from what I'm reading, it says the front of the hill obscures vision and cannot be moved through. But yeah, they can move through the back of the hill, right? Radiance top tower is under attack. Does it even have a front and a back? I, I was not aware. It's, it says specifically the front of the hill obscures vision and cannot be moved through except by Drow Ranger. So I assume that the sides and the back is huh. different. Okay. Alright, well, we're, oh. we're gonna learn that. Okay, one. Let's go through. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, on the side. Oh, Divai Lama showed himself. Oh no, battery assault. Oh. Does have BKB? Well, doesn't care. <laughs> it's just gonna die. Yeah, if there's not gonna be any support coming in, then there's no real point to continue uh, trying to survive there. Radiance middle huh. tower is under attack. This game's so weird. Like, I wonder what the timing for heroic Radiant is. Rose they is they have blink on DK. They they're gonna have crone. I mean, they're gonna have BKB. Maybe that's when K1's willing to fight. But uh, you already waited so long that it might just be better to give away some tier twos and wait until this ages is over. Oh, they find Oscar. And we'll be just fine. Schofield doesn't have the damage to kill him. Actually, didn't hit him with Mind Player. Yeah, he did after the day gone, so. Ah, okay. Then, yeah. Schofield's just gonna run away. They know where K1 is. KJ? Because of that explosion coming through, KJ will be found out by BP who gets an easy free kill. But there's still a Nyx assassin lurking about. Demon goes in with the dive. Be careful himself because Schofield can't kill you. Dust gets thrown out, but this team's not coming in to help him. <laughs> there's a Solar Guardian though. Yeah, and on the side going in, the Chrono was used by K1 going to the map by Jim Park Ages has been popped, but he's up high in the sky, pumping out arrows like it's nobody's business. That exorcism isn't going to keep the Vailama alive, and Analog is dead as well. There is no more Corona for 130 seconds. If they can push that mid wave, which has a catapult as well, they can definitely break the high ground at this stage. Good play from Schofield. He's dragging the creeps. There's still one catapult, unfortunately, in the mid lane, but it's going to be killed by a tier 3. Oh, they got top less. as well. Jim Park will just kill off the mid tier two. They have PP, the second right click uh, range hero on the team, and he'll be able to take out the. Honestly, I think you give this oh, up. Top. Like, you have no chrono, you have no dragon form, you have no, no hope. exo. Like, oh, they have dragon yeah. form, but no exo. He's dead, so. Yeah, te that, well, technically, thanks you for are having right. my back, DK. You are completely right. I apologize. They don't have a dragon form because he is dead, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're gonna fight this, alright. Oh, no, Oscar! He's gonna get taken down. There's a. There, look at that dragon form uh, coming through. Okay, they, I'm surprised that they were able to defend. Very patient here from Heroic. They did TP the Void though, and there is no Chrono and no BKB. This fight's still a bit awkward. They find Demon, I guess? Do they? No, they don't. Demon gets the TP out of there. Tiger, not gonna be so lucky. I must say, I've been very impressed by these supports from Infinity. I was doubting, you know, the support difference, but they're playing really well. Like, as you mentioned previously, the Sentry Wars that they've been placing the entire time, the mines yep. as well to scout out a lot of the things uh, by Demon. Even his item build, just going for that Guardian Greaves rush, make sure that it, everything needs to be used to keep them healed up in the Chrono. True. I can't help but feel like, you know, usually I don't like to harp on players, but, uh, this game, I'm not sure if it's the. I, I want to say it's the pick more than the player, but the Vilama is struggling, right? I feel like the supports are really big because one, they stole the wisdom, and two, this clock just got fed a lot of experience by all of those Davai kills. Or deaths, depending on how I want to put it. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I think uh, the Vilama. I, I, I think it's more obviously probably could have played it slightly better, but on the other hand, I don't think there was that much better that you could do, considering how terrible the lane was. He's not even that far away from Oscar, technically. 
Granted, the enemy supports are really, really, really fat, but yeah, it's just that. Oh, okay, they lose uh, scope here. But I feel like the the hero Dawnbreaker is easier to play, even if you're playing from behind. That's not true for GP. That's a hero that needs to dominate, and which is why I'm always surprised this hero gets picked up this early in the draft. Maybe Heroic was willing to flex it to five, right? We do see that from time to time, but uh, in this game, playing as a core just. Not the performance they needed. <laughs> Demon. He's getting ready for Roche. Oh. All the mines in bottom being uh, placed right now. Just so that if anyone wants to contest Roche later down the line, which will be up uh, on the radiant side, mind you, uh, they will be in for a bit of a problem. True. That's what the DK illusions are for, right? You got all that magic rest. You just send them. Hopefully, Analog's going to have the foresight to scout the area. Probably Although a lot of times the illusions... Gonna walk around and... <laughs> you can prevent one, right? Yeah. As uh, mid lane is being pushed by this DK illusions. Nicely done there by Analog. Doing some pressuring the tower quite a bit. Oh, that's the one thing that I despise about this DK. It's just so... It's obnoxious more than anything. Yeah. They nerfed the duration, but, you know, still feels like it doesn't do that much. Well, it was a corrosive uh, breath deep, but yeah, if it constantly keeps attacking, it doesn't matter. Illusions no longer apply dragon on hit effects if they have reverted back. That's at least a pretty decent change on his own. I was not even aware that that was a thing. Like, if I thought if the DK illusions were back to normal melee form, they, they wouldn't apply the buff, obviously, but apparently that's how it works. I think the, but the like, if the DK turns back, then the illusions are still in, like, dragon form. No, 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 they become melee. They, be they do become melee, but apparently they apply. I thought the that debuff. was only with TB when he changed forms. No, no, that, 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 uh, I'm 100% sure on that. But I never checked to see if they were applying it, and apparently they were. Hmm. Yeah, I will they... need to quickly check that in a sec. Yeah, like if you watch an old replay, you can definitely see it happening. Like as as you lose the the dragon form, they, they do return back. Oh, when they find Sculptor here, he's gonna return That's to the, the land of the dead. Is that the same with Alchemist then as well? I'm not sure actually. Like it's been a while since Manta has been an item for him. I I definitely am not sure. <laughs> definitely am not sure. That's a great sentence. Great English right there, boy. Well, they get a tier 2 here for their trouble. We're still a minute away, so Heroic could potentially either force Infinity back a little bit or... Uh, yeah, I mean, Infinity, the they've got Oscar defending the base. He also now has an Aghanim Scepter done, so complete focus on in disrupting the Corona. That's all he needs to do this game. Mm -hmm. I do like the Skydy build on K1, though. I think that kind of got discontinued once they nerfed Skydy, but now with more HP and mana, uh, it's great in this game where there's just a lot of bursts and mm -hmm. having that debuff on ranged heroes always feels great. I just love all these mines from Demon in the bottom Dyer's lane. Top tower is under attack. Like, well, you're not a great person if you love them. But, to be uh, fair, it is one of the most obnoxious things if you want to try and take a gateway. Speaking of which, Schofield is standing at the gateway. You take a gateway and immediately just boom, 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 and you're dead. One of the yeah, most terrifying yeah. things in uh, Yoda right now. Luckily enough, it's not as bad as the old techies was. Still pretty bad. I think the play for Heroic is just to be hitting this tower. You want to have as many heroes hitting this tower as possible. So that Infinity gets uh, baited back. Roche is up, so they are a bit late here, Heroic, but I think the intention counts. It will do a lot of extra damage, they even force the Glyph. It's not enough, it's not enough to say this is a good trade, but I think that's the best play they could be going for, since going through the Twin Jim Gates. Jim already TPing be. before it's killed. Oh. Okay. He's also carrying the gem on the draw. Oh, he's Kaidi as well. That's gonna be so much kiting for these heroes. God damn. Yeah, he already has frozen arrows. But, yeah. <laughs> it's Add gonna be like. Uh, have you watched uh, Sensei? Uh, no. You who haven't? I, I You're like a manga, an anime guy, and you haven't uh, watched Sensei? What's Sensei? 
the uh, you know they, they're knights and they fight for. There's no. I mean, it's it's a really old anime. Oh but yeah. Uh, no. Oh Saint Say. Oh no. I. No. K one. My old anime are just weird. And okay. How old are you, by the way? Twenty-eight. Right, I am, and you should. Yeah, no, but not if that it, young. If it wasn't like broadcasted on TV here, back when I was young, uh, most of them I didn't see. It was only when I got older that I started looking at. Actually, when I was young, but I w w watched anime like Wolf's Rain, which you've never heard of because it's very weird. I heard of it, but I, really? I don't think I have watched it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's definitely it's not. like super. Dramatic. It's very goryish, right? Oh, it's not goryish. It's just really dramatic. Okay. I, I don't think it was goryish. At least I, it was, I was 12 when I watched it. Um. <laughs> Speaking of drama here, the barracks are just falling, and heroic yeah. are not doing anything about it. Two cores outside the base. Park, homing missile coming through. Schofield's gonna walk around trying to catch himself for support, oh. which he does. But he's gonna actually miss everything afterwards, and that's a bit of a mistake. Chrono comes out, BKB on draw, and without Disarmed Schofield, go. it's gonna be the heel coming through. Tiger gets back up on the high ground. Oscar gets the sun going, and the jump is there on the face of Boyd with the sun follow up. K1, can he get himself out of there? BP might lose. He still has the satanic. He's trying to heal up from the satanic. Will get the kill. Turns his attention to KJ. They lose Parker though. Analog and Schofield get the damage done. And PP is now going to get control. First life is gone. In a moment, second life. Yep. They were so focused on K1. They forgot that there are more cores to deal with. Analog is starting to do a lot of damage. BKB TP out by PP. And that fight looked like it was going to be the winning fight there for Infinity. But... Great turnaround play coming out with that buyback as well from Schofield and the Vailama bringing all the damage they need with just exorcism. Everyone ignores him because they think that the DP can't do anything anyway. And uh, he just starts melting his opponents. So one thing that we forgot to talk about, I guess, in the draft is that uh, Time Walk is a heal. So once K1 got that time walk off in the fight, I was like, alright, this guy's Gucci is gonna heal so much. He healed like 5% of his HP because there's a Scotty and just max stacks of the eggs of the Drow. So is this, this time void, walk, is it counted as a heal? Yeah, I just read heals, uh, at least uh, the fandom wiki says heals from all three damage types. Uh, yeah, but it says upon cast, uh, upon cast any damage face this void took in the last two seconds gets healed back up. So, if you get ice blasted, it would not. I think he doesn't. Yeah, Thunder Death is not a heal for sure, but uh, I haven't seen that interaction. The, the, the... Yay, blast one! But ah. it says heal here on on the wiki, so I'm going by that. Oh, Schofield! <laughs> 90 HP! And they know exactly oh. where he is. Oh. oh! Run away! Hook shot in the trees. PP! No! Oh my god. Honestly, you should know that he is in that corner because there are mines in front of him. <laughs> he could not That's really have gone anywhere. Else. Oh well. He, he didn't really think that through and Schofield just being a nuisance as he always is that said you know analog he's starting to become really annoying he's like he's not at the same level or net worth uh, of PP but he's still like he's having a quiet game and he's scaling like he's just ferociously doing DK things it's you yeah. play late game against DK it it's really rough it just keeps cutting creep waves since one illusion one end no another end like the best thing you can get is a freaking Dagon or Scythe of Vice just to get rid of the DK illusions mm -hmm. and look at the void you're going for double chrono rather than an MKB or something to deal with the Dawnbreakers analog he's gonna be hook shotted yeah Doesn't but he have has DKB. that unobstructed path in can he get himself out of that Manta style in the sack he's gonna get stunned so up and analog is done for a nice catch and immediately looking for KJ 
No, not immediately, but they're just making sure the creep wave dies. PPP uh, towards what? mid. What? On 2k1. Okay, has the satanic. There's gonna be the heal coming through. K1 actually popped the BKB running away. Has the chrono at the ready. But he can drop onto two, which he does indeed. Demon tries Disarm. to get some bombs placid, and that is the power right there of the techies. Coming through with the shard, turn his attention to Devilama. Schofield, nice done on multiple, but Devilama exorcism is going to be on cooldown if... Well, in general, it's going to be in cooldown. Can they get the kill on him, though? Clockwork from the other side. Tiger hook shot oh. randomly, not going to be able to connect. And again, gets away with murder there. That is no exorcism. And no chrono, no chrono. for a hundred plus seconds. Is this over? Like, I, I guess PP needs to heal, but he also has an Ancient Guardian. Like, they're going to be doing so much damage to this barracks and towers. He's got boots of travel, so he'll be there in mid in no time. Mm -hmm. They have one Glyph, which they are saving for tier fours. No, never mind. I guess, I mean, Elon's going to be ready. Yeah, but no without the exorcism, guard. that death prophet just does no damage. If he's pushing out bottom, oh, he's buying the scythe of ice. Or at least he's yeah. trying to get enough gold for the scythe of ice. PP towards mid. I guess he's gonna wait for it a little bit longer. A lot of huh? Infinity being more respectful of uh, heroic than I expected here. With that chrono on cooldown, I mean, they're still gonna have a decent timing, right? 50 seconds. But, uh. Alright, let's see what they can do. Yeah, uh, Demon getting all the mines placed on the side. You won't wanna dive on them. They're gonna have to definitely pop BKB or they're dead. They find that Lina. Oak shot in onto Schofield for a staff back. Tiger needs to walk away. Does not have jetpack. Actually, it rings. Oh, K1. Schofield. Bumping it in. Gets found. Chrono is up in 15 seconds, and so is Exorcism. Going in onto Tiger. There's going to be the Dawn ult. the healing. K1. Laguna Blade taking a lot of damage, but not anywhere close to enough. But Chrono is up in five seconds. You kind of have to bail out now. There is no Dawn ult to help. Extra is up. And there's going to be the Chrono coming out. They catch three heroes. Actually two, but one extra came in. In the end, Tiger's going to get taken out. PP still pumps out damage. Scythe comes out. He's looking to heal up with the Satanic and it's still doing the job so far. While Jim Park is still right-clicking away. And the Shatter from the Frost Arrows. It's doing so much damage. And lock. No one's on top of Jim Park. So Jim Park can just pump arrows onto enemies constantly. Double by become raid inside, but there's no Elder Dragon form either. Tiger will try to run away. Has the boots of bearing, so no slow should work for that short amount of time. Tiger ticking down and will falter in the end. Schofield rotates through. Two-man stun with the impale. Right. Jim Park nearby throws down the little wall of ice. Can he get out of there? A TP attempt. We'll get the TP going and he does manage to get himself out of there. Oscar's not going to be so lucky. But it is at the very least a double buyback and two yeah, but damage as well on the bottom side. Double damage. Uh, you want to force these buys, right? You need to equalize the network. You need to equalize the status of this game. You force these buys. You can even take a fight before Roshan. Rosh, which, by the way, respawn in the bottom side. There's an obnoxious amount of mines, but if they can deal with that... I mean, you have a choice. You could force Roshan, but I'm not sure they are, they know it's up. It's not the max timing. Or you could try and force Bybex. Forcing Bybex is definitely not as reliable because you have Hookshot, you're gonna have the uh, Solar Guardian on top. They're TPing. Yeah, they're gonna go for Roche. Yeah, and... Uh... <laughs> Do we get to see something fun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think anyone's gonna die? Nah, I think they're a bit too tanky. DK's got, of course, that uh, extra magic resistance. Uh, Death Prophet's got the BKB. Also, KJ scouted a bunch of those, had to use the Glimmer Cape. Okay, okay, okay. But this is third Roche. This is Refresher Roche. They already have a refresh on the face void, so double chrono is already something you have to deal with. Then you're gonna probably deal with a double exorcism, I think. I mean, it's so 
<sighs> this Death Prophet is not even a hero. I wonder if there's there's not a better carrier though. So you might be right. At least getting that double BKB on the DP, maybe double Halbert <laughs> could be clutch. Yeah, because the DK already has Octarine, so you don't really yeah. need to give it to him. His cool his downtime is what? 15 seconds on Elder Dragon form? Yeah, that's not worth it. It would be nice, like if you had refresher on DK and you use uh dragon form refresh dragon form like you would get a second head in your dragon instead no. of like just reapplying <laughs> you become the jakiro yay <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you become a dark two-headed dragon okay one pew, 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 pew. all right time for roche you're gonna have some Missiles here from Tiger. Can they do this fast oh, enough? Oh, he's gonna smoke up. He's gonna try and get yeah. the steal. Needs to swap out Where's... some items from his inventory, though. Need someone blocking that hook shot. This is getting a little bit dicey. Someone. Tiger's close by. A hook yeah. shot in the Middle second. Position is good enough. It's good enough. Oh, it's oh. not. Does he get the steal? No, he, the cogs work in mysterious ways in that case. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very weird... Like, he flew in and then jumped a while to the Ooh. side. Jim Park's gonna get caught as well. There's gonna be the heal, but there is a refresher available. Unless K1 gets blown up, and indeed, his first life is gone. Mine's being placed around him. Can they kill him a second time? He has the BKB, he has the refresher for the second chrono. Will he pop it? Yes, indeed, pops it. Jim Park is going to drop dead. PP is uh, surrounded by enemies and another one down in the dumps. Buyback from Jim Park. PP does not have the money for a buyback. Chrono gets Oscar. thrown out onto Oscar. And the Don is a, a little bit of a pickle. Does have a buyback at the very least, but will be taken down. And without PP, it becomes fairly scary. Tiger still running away. No buyback available on Tiger, though. That is going to be clockwork out the running. This game is crazy. Like, Heroic got outclassed, uh, like, player-wise, throughout most of the game, but their macro understanding, like, the way they defended some of these barrack pushes, the way that they just played the map and got a lot out of it despite being so far behind is honestly so impressive. Like, to me, that is the biggest weakness of the SA teams. They do not play the map really well. They, they play really... Like, it, uh, individually they're really good but this comeback from Heroic is, is how almost every SA versus European team match goes on like they actually look very promising and then like one or two plays that they ended up going for kind of loses them the game I really feel like from this stage Infinity like you don't have this clock for 40 you're losing at least two lanes of barracks now by the time you're ready to fight, they'll probably just back off, have the refresher ready for yeah. another fight. So you're gonna have to deal with another two chrono uh, chronos. And... Oh, it's already and the buyback advantage is is on a heroic, right? They didn't use a single buyback for those last fights. People said uh, racks to be scared. Now they're even at least. In that regard, PPTPing in. Right in front of the enemies. Be ballsy move. <laughs> Interesting BKB from K1. I mean, I think that he could have just uh, disengaged, but at the end of the day, uh, as I said, you just want to reset, so wait for the BKB, wait for the fresher, and that's when you can take a fight. It looks like Infinity, you know, there is an argument for them to try and find something. No refresher in 50, but you don't have any buyback, so it's also very risky. Yeah, currently, uh, it is still a situation where if you survive the two chronos, you can probably win the game there. But uh, <laughs> if you can survive the two chronos, that's a, a lot to ask for. Yeah, they've been playing really well uh, around the Solar Guardian, forcing those initial ones. Uh, it was very patient from K1 as well, the way that he used Refresher, but didn't rush the chrono. Kills the Dawnbreaker later. I think Demon should just, at this point, go for the Aghanim Scepter. Minefield sign. Yeah, that's definitely not bad, but he's, I mean, he's just not even close yeah, to he's, it. Yeah, he's queued up Ags, so. He listened. G good boy, Demon. 
<laughs> I think the Ags is, especially for a Death Prophet, he, he can't run. And if a Death Prophet can't move, it's problematic. Same with the Faceless Void. Can't really yeah. move around inside the minefield sign, which is pretty obnoxious to deal with. We are smoked up. Four K HP on K one. Like even his neutral items making him super tanky. Yeah, Cedric Scap. That gets popped right now. And for uh, a way out. And now you're gonna get choked out on the map by that DK. It also has the AoE Dragon Till uh, stun. It is oh. so insanely good. Yeah, I mean, you're against Drow here, so that extra armor, that extra HP region gets all nullified by the eggs. Uh, the... Does it? I think so, right? I think it's added armor and it's not base armor. Um, and Drow only removes be base armor. Right. That's why faces. I think the region AC. gets removed. I oh, think yeah. the region gets removed yeah, because the... Huskar gets counter, right? Yeah, yeah. The region gets reduced. That definitely. But the armor should still be pretty good for the DK to have. True, 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 true. I mean, faces void has an AC for Christ's sake. It's uh, <laughs> not really uh, an item you see on faces void like ever. Very true. So as heroic here, the let's say the safe play would probably be waiting for Roche, but they have that refresher and oh, there you go, we're just going in. There's the first chrono. On PP goes, Don Ulti comes through, and that is round number one done. But there is no buyback on the techies, he doesn't have the funds. And he didn't even pop the refresher, he's just keeping that one in the back pocket. Might as well just wait 90 seconds. Very patient here from Heroic. Awkward still doesn't have a shard. Actually, they haven't killed off, I think, a Tormentor since the first one. Objectives, people. <laughs> Tiger, hook shot onto Schofield, gets the cash. K1, though, still nearby. He's gonna win out this fight. Oh, it looks very damaging. K1 does pop his refresher this time around, turns his attention, gets a kill onto Tiger Crona, comes out onto Jim Park. There is no Dawn ulti. Jim Park is actually surviving the damage so far, but the rest of his team is not coming in to help Parker, and that's a dieback. Huh, I think if someone walked in to help him, well, they would have lost Ops at Iraqs, but that's beside the point. They already will yeah. lose Ops at Iraqs. Clutch play, clutch itemization from K1. He was very quiet at the beginning of the game. Same thing for Analog. But their read was that uh, you know as long as they got all of those timings, it wouldn't matter, and uh, he definitely didn't. The Vile Lama still 11 deaths by far the highest count on uh, the side of Rory, but they made it work. Ooh, clutch loads there. Yeah, I mean, it do much in return. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It is very pretty. That is true. They're trying to deep fight. Don Ulti, he'll come on top. The evasion helping against the ancient dropping, but there is the GG, and it is going to be heroic taking game number one with a pretty substantial comeback coming through from the Radiant side. It was, uh, I mean, it definitely goes to show that you should probably still nerf Void Spirit. Uh,